Happy Saturday, everybody. It is another episode of Vet Green. We're unpacking, you guys, right? We are unpacking. We are unpacking so that we can learn more about ourselves, so that we can learn what we need to do to keep moving forward, right? That's what we're unpacking. We're, we're unpacking our lives so that we can know why we act the way we do. Where does these attitudes come from? Where does this behavior come from? What do I need to do to change this behavior if it's not working for me? Those are the things that I ask myself as I unpack. I'm unpacking everything. I look at how I raise my kids. I look at my relationships. I look at the people that I talk to. I look at my job, where I want to be. You know, I'm setting goals for myself because without goals, we just remain stagnant. We remain stagnant and that is not what we want to do in this community. You guys, we want to keep moving forward no matter what. We have got to keep moving forward and that's why we have communities like this. That is why we have communities like this, so we can reach out to each other and we can learn what's working for each other, what works for you, what, what's not working, what challenges are you facing. So I'm going to continue to get on here, you guys, and I hope that you follow because this is a community where there is no judgment. This is a community that I am trying to build and I am going to build where all things are possible because we will not give up. We are the phoenix rising out of the ashes, you guys. This is a start over. Today is Saturday. That means we got another chance. We were blessed with another chance to do this again. You guys, we matter. We matter. Our lives have meaning. The world will try and beat us down to make us believe that there is nothing good about us. Our past will continue to try and follow us. But God, God said, no, no, you are my child. Anything that was done to you in the past has been done. It's over. You don't have to keep carrying that. I got that for you. I got that for you, my child. That is what God said. There is an awesomeness within us. There is an awesomeness within us, you guys. And for a long time, I did not realize that it was there. I did not realize that it was there. I was so focused on my brokenness. And my brokenness was being reflected on all aspects of my life. All aspects of my life. It was filtering into my children, the way I communicated with my children. It was going, it was filtering into my job. I was bringing my brokenness into my job or lack of a job. I couldn't find a job and didn't have a motivation, have the motivation to continue looking for a job because I was defeated by the rejection. I was bringing my brokenness into people that I was dealing with as far as relationships and friendships. I was, I was just taking anything that was given to me because I was so broken and I didn't realize that I deserve, that I deserve you guys. Realize that about yourself. You do deserve to be happy. You do deserve the best. You do deserve what God promised you. And in our brokenness, we sometimes forget about that. We sometimes forget about that. Sometimes I have to check myself even now and, and, and tell myself, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are you getting out of continuing with this, I guess, behavior? What are you getting out of it? Is, is this type of behavior more detrimental to you or is it helping you grow? What's the intention behind this behavior? My brokenness has, have, has led me down a lot of dark roads, you guys. And sometimes you forget about that brokenness because you're so used to being in it. And we carry it. We carry it with us wherever we go. And it shows in our face, our outward appearance, the way we dress. That brokenness will show up. 
But it's up to us to say, you know what, no more and check ourselves. That's where that unpacking comes in because you're able to reflect and go back and say, okay, this is what was happening when I was doing this type of behavior. You know, maybe I was down because I applied for five jobs and I didn't get a call back. So because I was down because of those five jobs that I applied for and I didn't get a call back, I decided to go out and get drunk. Or I decided to contact a, a person who I knew wasn't good for me, but, but because I needed something to make me feel, to, to, to make me feel alive, I decided to reach out to that person. Or maybe, you know, I overate today because I just needed to feel something because I was feeling that rejection and I didn't like that empty feeling. So I needed something to help fill me up. But we can't do that because it, filling us ourselves up with negativity and filling ourselves up with things that aren't good for us will only keep us within that brokenness. So what we got to do, what I do, you guys, I don't want to say what we got to do because I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm trying to just tell you what works for me. What I do is I continue to fill myself up, myself up. I continue to fill myself up. And when I feel myself getting depleted because I'm giving more than I'm getting, I start to withdraw myself and, and I go back. I go back to the drawing board. I don't have a problem pressing reset anymore. I The, the days, it, I, I, it's not, okay, October 1st, so this is what I'm going to do. And if on October 2nd, it didn't work, I'm going to quit. No, it's one day at a time. One day at a time. If something didn't work on day one, day two, I'm going to try it again. Day three, if it didn't work, I'm going to try it again. But I'm, each time that I, I'm, I'm going back and I'm unpacking to find out what did not work for me that day, why didn't it work, where was my mindset, what was going on on that particular day that this was the outcome unpacking you guys we have got to unpack we have got to find out where our behaviors are coming from we have got to because our behaviors are reflected into our children so instead of breathing life into our children we're depleting them of life when we're upset the kids can feel that they can feel that they can feel that energy and then that makes them feel worthless, right? Because we're not giving them life because we, we don't have life. We aren't breathing life into ourselves. It's that old oxygen mask. We have to put it on ourselves first, right? So you guys, put the oxygen mask on. Put it on yourself. Put it on yourself. Breathe life into yourself. Fill yourself up. So that you can overflow and you can give some of that overflow instead of your whole cup to the world. When I get on here, you guys, and I see some of those posts or you guys are tagging me and encouraging me, that is helping fill me back up. It is helping me and I appreciate you. When I wake up in the morning and I say good morning and you guys tell me good morning back, that that fills me up because that may, that lets me know that you guys understand this journey and you are on this journey with me. That's what that helps me do. So I appreciate you guys when you leave me a message or you, you say something nice or you tell me a story about yourself or you DM me and tell me how your day is going or what, you know, challenges your face. And I appreciate that. Because we are in this journey together. And when I can reach out to you guys and you guys fill me up, that means the world, it, it's turning right. That's what we're supposed to be doing in this community. So you guys, I love you. Have a happy Saturday, a wonderful Saturday. Fill your cup up. 
And remember, your life matters. Pain does not always last. It is temporary. That pain is there to mold you. All right, so don't get stuck. I love you guys. Have a wonderful Saturday.